Hey, I'm Thomas Hughes with Circle H Scuba at DEMA Show 2025 down in Orlando, Florida, taking a look at the Shearwater booth. And today we're gonna to be taking a look at the Avello dive system and the Shearwater partnership with Avello. So if you haven't heard, Avello is a really cool system. I'm here with Jason today. Uh, he's gonna go over the unit, what Shearwater's added to the unit as well to give that Shearwater reliability to it. And we're gonna jump right into it. Hey, I'm Jason Leggett. I'm the CEO of Shearwater Research. And we're gonna give you a little bit of a tour of the Shearwater Avello jetpack for Avello diving so you know first of all we start with the Shearwater brand on this beautiful product but Avello if you haven't heard about it is a revolutionary new diving system that uses hydraulics to manage your buoyancy instead of an air balloon or uh, the air in a BCD and so Shearwater started collaborating with Avello about two years ago to build an Avello mode for our dive computers uh, which helps you understand how much gas you have remaining on your dive when you're using this kind of hydraulic system and now we're building the Jetpack, which is sort of the load carriage and electronics and power system, hydraulic system, that goes with the Avello Hydro Tank for Avello diving. So really cool new features on this Jetpack in particular is the electronics package from Shearwater. Obviously that's what we're all about. And it has an integrated new Swift GPS right in the electronics package here. So you see the high pressure hose coming from your first stage to the Shearwater Jetpack. And that transmitter, is sending your pressure to your dive computer and then calculating how much gas you have remaining. It knows when you're running the Avello system pump to put water into the tank and so we know how much water went into the hydro tank doing that. Um, has a brand new load carriage uh, webbing harness system that's super comfortable and uh, coochie for making you comfortable while you're diving. So we're really excited. So we're going to market with this in January, February 2026. Um, dive Center is going to be able to buy starter kit packages and be able to get into this and start to offer a totally new radical experience to their customers. So, um, so that's coming early 2026 from Shearwater Research. You can buy the whole system package from us, uh, tanks, jet packs, uh, air integrated computers that work directly with your Shearwater Jetpack system. Super awesome. Yeah, now that's still, um, dealers are able to buy it, not direct to consumer yet, uh, Consumers right? will also be able to buy this from your authorized uh, Avello dive centers. So, you know, the first thing to do is, you know, because this is a totally new type of diving system is to find an Avello dive center. You can go on to diveavello.com and see where those dive centers are. There's about, I think, 30 in the United States now. So there's lots of different places you can try this system out. And those dive centers, and there's many more coming online right now with this new system. Uh, many which are already existing Shearwater dealers are gonna get involved. And then you can sort of like take the specialty class to learn how to dive the system and then rent the gear or purchase it from those dive centers. So awesome. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, and then just gonna walk through so the ballast system yeah. a little bit here. I guess you want to show the cross section of the tank. Yeah, sure. yeah. So basically, we got that internal yeah, yeah. bladder that's gonna yeah. be your actual yeah. air, yeah. right? So to kind of walk you through like the internals of how this exactly works is really sort of like the hydro tank, which is sort of your air tank for or it can also do nitrox, but for breathing gas, this is a 3D printed cutaway that shows you how that's built. So it's a composite carbon fiber wrapped tank with a bladder inside. So the air you're gonna breathe is inside this bladder tank. And when you use the hydraulic system to modulate your buoyancy, you're pumping water into the tank. So there's gonna be a hydraulic hose that connects to the jet pack pump. And it's gonna pump water into the uh, cage of the tank and it'll compress the bladder. And again, that's what the beauty of working with the Shearwater Electronics is. When you pump water in here, you compress your air, so your pressure goes up. So we need to do a bunch of calculations to make sure that we actually properly calculate how much air you have left to breathe in right. that tank. So really specialized system, electronics, smart package, performance. It's just an incredible experience to dive this thing. Yeah, wow. Lightweight, just revolutionary. Every other action water sport, right, is going lighter, faster, stronger. Yeah. Um, and diving's been heavy and bulky and unchanged for many years. And that's what this is. This is bringing performance to diving in a lightweight, you know, exciting package. And Shearwater's just thrilled to be part of it. Yeah, I know that, that sounds great, yeah. 
Now, the question that I'm sure I'll get from people is going to be, you know, what happens if the pump fails, if the electronics go out yeah, at some point, sure. we are underwater, what are my backups, how do I manually do yeah, this? Yeah, so there, there is an, a velo, uh, recreational velo diving specialty where they're going to go through all the types of things that could potentially go wrong while you're diving this system. And I'm not going to do a comprehensive course, uh, yeah. <laughs> instructional it's video on that here. By any means, um, there's lots of content online about that already, but covering a few of the things. So the beauty of this system is because you don't have an air bubble for your buoyancy is that when you move up and down in the water, you don't have any rapid descent or ascent issues. It just cannot happen because your buoyancy compensation is in a fixed volume package, this hydro tank. So nothing's expanding or contracting when you go uh, up or down in pressure. So if you have a failure, like your pump is no longer going to work, you can't add weight to the tank. Okay, so now you've got a problem. You're going to recognize that your pump's not working you're gonna slowly end your dive. You have no, you're not falling in, you're not descending, you're not going to the bottom, you're not running away to the surface, just that, hey, something's wrong, end the dive. Because um, there's no, when it fails, there's no buoyancy change. Right, okay. So unlike yeah. a power inflator stuck, there's no buoyancy change when yeah. the pump uh, doesn't work. Same thing with a battery failure. I can't operate the pump, the battery's dead. Okay, so I can't change my buoyancy, but my buoyancy also doesn't change. So end the dive slowly. And really, those are kind of the, the a leak a leak from the tank. So the tank purges all the water. You're a little bit buoyant, but you can only get generate maybe two to four pounds of buoyancy. Right. Right. Again, you may start to float up a slowly, but you can easily manage that, and you don't accelerate because again, nothing's expanding. Yeah. Um, yeah. So again. You have a, a leak in the tank, it purges, ascend, abort your dive. That's the beauty of the system. Super, super safe with all the different failure modes that can happen to you, which is really cool. The last question, um, the internal bladder, is that still the same cubic feet, like 80 cubic feet? or? 30? Yeah, so this hydro tank's like a 10 liter tank. That's what this one's representing. Um, it's actually rated and has a high pressure valve, a DIN valve, you use a DIN regulator with this. Um, that's rated to 4,350 PSI. So when the tank is filled to 4,000 PSI, it's basically the equivalent of a 80 cubic foot uh, okay. aluminum. Yeah, yeah, perfect. Awesome, thank you so much, Jason. Appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, my pleasure.